Greetings and salutations from beautiful West Palm Beach, Florida. Burr, 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 burr. Welcome back to my channel. You know, I get asked all the time about shoe and pant combos. So I wanted to show off some of my go-to options. We're going to cover a few pant types and the shoes that I wear with them. I'm also going to throw up a few alternatives so you can get the same look with a more accessible shoe or even a more luxurious shoe. So enough rambling for me. Let's get into the looks. Yes, I still wear skinny jeans and I'm never going to stop. But seriously, I think every guy should have at least one pair of skinny or or slim jeans in their closet as they are a very versatile option in creating some really nice looks. Subi makes my favorite skinny jeans as they have the right balance of denim fill, stretch, and ankle taper that really creates a great stacking effect on top of my sneakers. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna be wearing the Subi Van Winkle in the black trashed dynamite. Beyond the fit, I just love the fact that this pair is ripped and repaired, so it makes them very versatile for casual casual looks and also smart looks. And speaking of casual looks, you can really dress them down with this Jordan 1 fly knit in the royal colorway. The fly knit is light, comfortable, and durable without sacrificing too much of that Jordan 1 shape. The jeans stack perfectly on top and give that nice rippling effect throughout the legs. The fly knit version of these royals also come in at about a quarter of the price, so they're a great alternative to the classic leather version that we all know and love. I also paired them with my Givenchy tank boots. These feature a high top padded collar cut that really helps once again with that taper and the stacking effect that you get at the top of the shoes. I also love the metallic stitching, which really makes these boots stand out in a crowd. These are amongst my favorites with their low profile sole and their luxe look. These are also a few years old, thus might be a little hard to find, but you can do the Dr. Martin's 1461 boot as an alternative. And if you want a luxe option, swing for the fences with this Prada leather and nylon boot. These are fantastic. And if you're feeling generous, please throw a pair my way. I'll be forever grateful. Crop pants have long been a staple in my wardrobe. You see, I'm a little bit short and I personally find that crop pants really elongate my legs and make me look a little taller than I actually am. They also have the added benefit of showing off my sick ass kicks. It's one of the many ways that Rick Owen just gets me. So of course I'm going to show off some Rick pants. This time, my Bauhaus cargos with the massive side pockets, the heavy zipper on the side, and the exaggerated drop crotch. Rick, of course, pairs well with Rick. It's synergy. So for the first pairing, I went with my Rick Owens and Adidas Tech Runner. It comes in that signature Rick milk color. I just love the odd shape with this elongated heel block in the back. I don't know what purpose it serves. It's kind of weird, but it's really cool and adds a little design element to the shoe that really, really makes it stand out. I can rock them with no show socks to really get that clean exposed ankle look, or I can put on some crew socks and just give my fit a little pop of color. These have been long since discontinued as that Rick and Adidas collaboration ended a few years ago, but you can achieve a similar look in this Nike Waffle One in the Summit white color. Speaking of Rick collabs, I often pair my cropped Rick pants with my favorite, the Rick Owens and Adidas Mastodon boot. I mention these in almost every video, so you already know how I feel about these. I love them so much. I love you, I love you, I love you. The cropped Bauhaus trousers let the boots peek out, create a little bit of intrigue, and one of those what are those moments for you. There's nothing really comparable to these, but they do pop up from time to time on some of your more popular resale sites like Grailed or Macari or Depop or The Real Real or anything like that. Vestavil, Vestavil, Vestavil? I don't know how to pronounce it, but the one with the V you see all the time as well. The boot cut and flare style have really been gained gaining a lot of momentum in the last few years in most fashion circles. In all honesty, they're probably hit peak saturation at this point. However, just because they're kind of popping up everywhere and really hit their peak in popularity doesn't mean that they can't become a staple in your wardrobe. That being said, these can be a little tricky to style. For this one, we're going to focus on the Hudson and Brandon Williams collab Jack Kick Flare Pants, which I've talked about in one of my previous or maybe two of my previous videos, which I will bing, put it up top there. 
just so you can go check it out and see what my initial thoughts about these particular pants were. But suffice it to say that this pair is great because of the versatility that they provide, having that zip side, which allows you to customize the flare. So you could go a little bit more exaggerated or a little bit more subtle, which subtle is what I leaned into. So that could pair them with my Rick Owens Ramones, which I've talked about before as well in the past. And as a side note, can I talk to my Rick fans out there for just a second? Listen, I know that Ramones are the basic Rick silhouette. We all know. I know they're popular. I know that we all hate that they're popular, but come on. Ramones are great. They're a great style. They work with everything. There's a reason why they're popular. Let people have their fun. Listen, you can have your Kiss Hills and your Geth Runners and your Geos and everything in between. We all love those two. They're super sick. However, let people enjoy Ramones. Okay, rant over. Ooh, I just had to get that off my chest. Anyway, these Ramones are perfect for the flare jean as they have just enough design on them to peek out under all that extra material that the flare gives you. There aren't any true alternatives for the Ramones as, you know, they are kind of their own thing. However, the Converse Chuck 70 does provide a decent alternative that you could toss on and get a similar effect. For me, chunky is the move when it comes to these flare styles. So of course I'm gonna reach for the monster, the Rick Owens and Converse Turbo Weapon. This sneaker has the most bang per square inch that you're gonna find on the market right now, in my humble opinion. Beautiful leather uppers with this thick custom platform sole that is exaggerated and dramatic. This provides an excellent update to a classic and recognizable silhouette. Even though they're mostly covered under the flare, they still command your attention. For alternatives, try out the original Converse weapon. Even though it doesn't have the monster sole, it's still just chunky enough to give you a really cool Cool look. And over the last year or so, they've really been offering it in some very low key and slept on colors. And if you want to play it safe, you can always go with the ultimate utility shoe, a pair of Air Force Ones. One of the more versatile cuts in any guy's wardrobe, the straight leg might be one of the easiest pairs to style out of the grouping of pants that we're talking about today. The leg opening falls right in between a slim fit and a wide leg. So generally they work with most shoe options. I'm rocking a pair of my favorite straight leg styles, the Subi Haslow in Ace Black. Of course, once again, the Ramones work magic with these, which to be completely honest with you, Ramones are like the ultimate cheat code. If you can't think of any shoes to pair with your fit, just try out your Ramones, see how it works out. And also if you don't have Ramones to a lesser degree, the Chuck 70s work just fine. Now for the second pair, I went with my custom painted Dr. Martin's 1461s, this time with the ripple bottom. The shape and the style of these shoes instantly upgrade the Haslows and make them acceptable for a lot of smart looks. The shape of the 1461 is perfect and the ripple sole really gives them almost like a platform look, which obviously you could tell I like the platform look. You could pull off this look with a standard pair of Dr. Martin's 1461s or any type of round toe derby style shoe like the sponge sole derbies from Off-White Cara of Virgil Abloh. I love a good pair of wide leg pants for the record. Of all the styles on this list, the wide leg is going bring the drama. And we love a little drama around here. My favorite wide legs are always loose, comfortable, and flowy. I personally like them fitted at the waist, but hey, your mileage may vary. There's really no wrong way to wear them. This particular pair are from the Levi's LVC line, the Double Double Good 1984 501. 1984 being that the year the jeans were dated from. Normally a pair of 501s aren't this wide, but this pair is a reproduction from the Levi's archives. If I understand the original information about these correctly, they were actually customized by the original owner of the pants that they reproduced and they added an additional panel of fabric which really gave them this wide leg effect. It also created this double hem effect on the bottom so it has two of those thick kind of bump pieces at the bottom. I don't I don't remember the technical name for them right now so don't, don't hold it against me. <laughs> and so when they reproduce them, they put them on this selvage fabric, which really adds to the details of them and makes them a standout pair of pants with the side panel, the double hemline, and the selvage. It's like a crazy one, two, three punch that just gives you this nice quality wide leg denim that lays just right on the body. I personally put a fat ass cuff in them just to show off that selvage bottom. It's great for showing off the kicks. And speaking of kicks, we actually went back to the Jordan 1, this time in the Electro orange color, so it is a leather one.
one, but it really is a testament to the versatility of the Jordan one. I really love how it just peeks out from the bottom of the pants. So it really frames the pants nicely in my personal opinion. And it allows that wide leg to be the focal point and it just lets the shoes kind of assist in the entire look instead of being the focal point in dominating the pants. You see kids, sometimes you want maybe something other than your shoes or your graphic t-shirt to be the focal point. Pants are beautiful. Sometimes they just need to be, you know, the focal point of your look. I don't know, give it a try. Let your pants do the talking. This particular colorway of Jordan 1s are still pretty available for retail. So I would definitely recommend hopping on GOAT or StockX or whatever and buying them. I mean, no more than 220 in most sizes. I also like a low top option with these. So this time I'm showcasing my Adidas and Disney Mike Wazowski Monster Inc. Stan Smith paired with the massive cuff on these jeans. They really are kind of an effortless and cool skater-esque vibe that you can really just throw on and vibe out to and feel really chill and kind of dope at the same time. I love the off-white base of this shoe and the pop of color that you get from Mike's body. They really are cool and a great kind of conversation piece. They're also like relatively inexpensive. You can buy them right now for under retail. I think retail on these was like 100 bucks. You can probably buy them for like $78 on GOAT right now or StockX or whatever. If these are a little bit too much for you, hey, try out the OG flavor. The white ones with the blue back or the green back or whatever colorway you kind of like. Also, if you want a luxury version of it, hey, why not try the new classic, the Common Projects Achilles, which is offered in a thousand different colors and will give you pretty much the same effect. So once again, here we are at the end, my friends. This is just a snapshot of how I like to wear some of these different styles of pants and you know what shoes I like to really pair them with. I didn't really go through any outfit progressions. I just really wanted to show you pants and shoes. This video actually came at request by my boy Drew. So shout out to you, Drew, for the video idea. You are the man. Thank you so much for taking your time out to watch my video. Once again, this is just like a guideline. I'm not really here to tell people how to dress. I'm just telling y'all like what I like to wear. I mean, if you like it, you know, please let me know you like it. If you don't like it, tell me what you would wear. Um, in fact, I, I think that's the way the conversation should go. Down below, tell me which one was your favorite pants style or shoe combination. Uh, tell me what you would wear differently if you didn't like it or if you do like it, but you do still have some other ideas. Put it down in the comments. Give somebody else some tips that they can rock or maybe some things that I didn't really think about before. And also, if you're loving my content, please, please click that subscribe button. If you really, really want to know when I'm dropping something new, please click those notifications. I think the once a week thing is just not going to work out for me. Work is so busy. I'm just going to probably stick to a once a month model for now. And then once we kind of get everything figured out, maybe we can pick up the release schedule or at the very least, if I can sneak in an extra video over the course of the month, I 1000% will. But in the meantime, please watch one of my other videos that I put out over the last couple of weeks. I think the quality is improving a lot. Oh, guys, a couple of things real quick because you stay to the end. I'm going to tell you some life updates. Number one, your boy got a PS5. Number two, your boy got a new camera. So now hopefully we're going to get better quality video. This is like my first time doing this. So if the video quality is trash, like, uh, I don't know. New camera, new me, I guess. Uh, as usual, boy smells for the candle. This time the purple kush. Flowers from my girlfriend. Thank you. Love you, babe. You the best. What else do I have for your guys? Oh, if you want to, if you are so inclined, I got to switch hands with the microphone. You can follow me on Instagram. If you can catch it, pause it. You know what time it is. Anyway, until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Peace.